This week we start a new RV series we call Smart Videos. Our 2003 Alpha Sia came with a lot of manuals. Alpha Leisure worked hard to help new owners get used to all of the functions of the motorhome. To this end, they made what they called smart cards to get the new owner up and running while they got acquainted with all the features of the motorhome. These were short, simple reference cards with basic information on how to operate things like the generator, the inverter, what to do when batteries were dead, and much more. They had a disclaimer to always consult the owner's manual for the coach, chassis, or appliance for more detailed instructions. We're calling this new series Smart Videos. While these are somewhat like the smart cards, these videos will include more graphics than the cards and some of our insight from living in the motorhome for more than three years. Since Alpha stopped production in 2008, where we can, we'll try to include how the instruction can be applied to other RVs as well. One more thing, we're going to skip the things that are outdated for our coach, such as we don't have a VCR anymore. Starting the Generac generator is very simple. There are two buttons that are used to control the generator from the driver's seat. When parked, we leave them covered to keep the cats off these switches. If the generator is cold, we press the preheat switch for 5 to 10 seconds. Then we press the generator start switch until the generator starts, then release it. If the generator is already warm, we just go straight to the start switch. That's it. The green light there indicates that the generator is running. Now, this assumes that the normal maintenance has been done. The generator is located up front between the batteries. Sometimes I get a surprise when opening a compartment. For some reason, some cats like to leave droppings in weird places. Clean up with some Windex makes it so I can see the labels. Normal maintenance includes checking the oil level the coolant level. Sometimes the circuit breaker on the generator will trip, but resetting it is just flip it to on. Same controls as in the driver's area are on the control panel of the generator. Preheat switch, the start switch, but there's also an hour meter and a fuse for the control panel. The generator system is designed to be started with electrical loads on. There's an automatic switching circuit to allow the loads to be engaged after the generator is up to operating speed. That's it. That's the basics of starting the Generac generator in our coach. This will probably apply to other coaches that have that same Generac generator. If you have questions about RV living or have suggestions for topics for videos, leave a comment below. We do videos every week and we appreciate hearing from you, our viewers, letting us know what you would like to see. Thanks for watching our video. If you like what you see, press the like button below and subscribe. And also check out our other videos.